Hey guys, my name is Justin and I'm known as Metallic Acid from Metallic Acid Customs. I am a PC case modder and I've been modding for roughly 4 years now and during that time I've completed roughly 20 projects and unfortunately not all of them are online yet so yeah. Um, basically I was um, approached by Fractal Design and um, I was actually asked if I would be interested in creating a custom modified PC for them for this event called Sukumo in Japan in the middle of November and I jumped at the opportunity and said yes straight away um, but the catch was is that I needed to have the PC uh, completed and shipped within three weeks so a short time frame I had to really think about which mods I could actually do and how I could use my time most effectively to get the PC finished on time and I had it finished the day before it was meant to be shipped so that's uh, <laughs> that's pretty funny and um, I'll actually be attending the Sukumo event as well in the middle of November in Tokyo so if you guys are going to be there if any of you guys are going to be there then please come past take a look at my project and say hi to me it'd be really great to meet you and um, and inspire you as well so the following video is um, a montage of all of the final photos which I've taken of the PC the night before it was meant to be shipped and during the video I actually go through and explain the specifications um, so all of the parts which are inside also which partners were involved in making the project happen and lastly the mods that I have performed and try to go into some detail in how I did it so uh, you can see firsthand what it is that have been changed and um, just how easy it is for you to do the same so I really hope that you enjoy the project and enjoy the video and I really I really enjoy making this video so I really hope that I can make more of these type of things in the future as well so please let me know if it's something that you would like to see yourself um, that's pretty much it thanks guys take care have a good one and I hope that you feel inspired to do your own project bye Alright guys, well this PC mod project is called the Nano Machine and it plays on the name of the chassis which is the Fractal Design Define Nano S. This project took roughly 3 weeks to complete with the help of uh, Fractal Design, MSI, Bits Power and Clev and between these 4 companies I was able to receive all the parts needed to be able to complete this project. So as for the specifications for this project, we have the Fractal Design Nano S in white, also the Fractal Design Kelvin S24 all-in-one cooler which is upgradable and expandable, um, the semi-modular Fractal Design Edison 750 watt PSU, and Fractal Design were also very nice to throw in the Intel Core i5-6600K CPU. MSI were able to provide the Z170i Gaming AC, which is an ITX motherboard and also the GeForce GTX 960 Gaming graphics card with 2GB of GDDR5 RAM. Clev were able to hand out the Kraus DDR4 with 2666MHz and that's two sticks at 4GB and also the Clev Urban 256GB SSD. Bits Power supplied the water cooling, so we've got the white deluxe fittings, um, their crystal link tube with 12 millimeters outer diameter, the all acrylic graphics card water block, and also the all acrylic 250 mil reservoir sitting up top there in the chassis. I've done a variety of mods on this project and one of those mods is the PSU shroud and this shroud was actually created to be the same length as the graphics card and this is not by mistake, this is so that I could actually drill a couple of holes in the top of the power unit and run a couple of PCI cables um, straight from the shroud up to the graphics card unit and it will create a nice and uh, uniform way of cabling up that graphics card. Um, I've also made a cut just in front of the PSU so that the PSU Fractal Design logo can actually be seen and this is individually lit up by its own LED strip hidden underneath the lip which is out of sight.
So as you guys might know, um, I always like to put a, a large focus on the cables and cable management in all of my projects. And this particular project is no exception. So what I've went ahead and done is I've taken a windowed side panel and I've popped it on the back side as well. And this gives a lovely view of the SSD and all of the hand sleeved uh, PSU cables. Uh, all of the cables are actually in neutral tones, so light greys and dark greys. And this also includes the SATA uh, data and SATA power and also the fan cables and the front panel cables as well. And then moving on to the next mod and we have a floating reservoir and a window in the top of the chassis and these two mods actually go hand in hand. Um, the floating reservoir I wanted to have and this is because usually when you mount a reservoir anywhere then you would have the reservoir clamps and this is so that you can screw the reservoir with the clamps onto either the internal panel or onto radiators if you have the necessary brackets for it. Um, but I actually wanted to avoid using the clamps and have it make it so that it's floating seamlessly in the air in the middle of the chassis. And this is purely because I wanted the window in the top of the chassis, uh, as you can see here. And if I was to have clamps, then it would kind of ruin the entire, the entire appeal of, um, of this particular mod. So I actually went ahead and, and attached the reservoir directly to the radiator via a double quarter inch rotary fitting. And on the other side of the reservoir I have a couple of uh, regular compression fittings which then screw into the uh, case pass through, um, a pass through fitting or um, a, a filled top fitting I think they're called. And this actually serves the two purposes of one holding up the reservoir and the second purpose of being able to fill and drain the system easily. Uh, so there was a, a handy little function there. And the second mod is the, the top window mod which we've seen earlier. So what I've went ahead and done is I've cut out the, uh, the hex grill mesh and all of the fan mounting holes and um, then I've actually went ahead and fabricated my own aluminium frame and alum, uh, acrylic window and that just sits nicely held in place by some very thin double-sided tape um, and this gives a really spectacular view of the floating reservoir and all of the hardware inside so you can fully see the the pump mounts um, the, the motherboard the cables and um, the bottom of the graphics card and the uh, the back plate of the graphics card, I should say, and the fittings as well. So it, it turned out really, really nice. I'm pleased with, with the overall impression that you get when you look from the top down. For those of you who are actually wondering how the water cooling loop flows, um, if we start from the CPU, it goes from the CPU to the reservoir from the reservoir to the radiator, the radiator to the graphics card block, and then from the graphics card block back up to the CPU. Now ideally I would have liked to have had the inlet of the pump at the top of the CPU block, but that actually cannot be changed. So in a perfect world I would have had that reversed, but in this particular case um, it actually worked out for me. I just had to make sure the PC was lying down on the back panel, on the cable side panel, so to speak, and then the flow would actually go straight from the graphics card into the CPU block. Well, that's it for this video, guys. I've really enjoyed putting this together for you, and I really hope that it is something that you have been inspired by, and if you wish for me to do more of these type of videos and please let me know and I'll make sure it happens for all of my future projects. Um, I've had a blast making this video and yeah I really look forward to hearing from all of you. Please let me know what you think. Take care guys, see you at the next update.